Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video I'm going to show you the molarity and dilutions calculations. It's... Alright, so we have two equations here. The first equation is molarity, which is concentration, equals moles divided by liters. Now, this is a pretty simple equation right here, uh, but if you are having trouble with manipulating it algebraically, well, there are two different versions of this that we can get depending on uh, what the question is asking for. So let's say it's asking for moles. Well, we're going to uh, multiply both sides by liters, and you get moles equals molarity times liters. And then, if the question's asking for liters, well, again, we divide both sides by molarity, and so you get liters equals moles divided by molarity. Okay? Um, I'm also going to point out that liters here actually means liters. So if the question gives you milliliters, what you got to remember is that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Meaning that if you get milliliters, just divide by 1,000, you got liters, okay, move on. Now the second equation here, this is the dilutions equation, M1V1 equals M2V2, right? So molarity 1 times volume 1 equals molarity 2 times volume 2. Now notice here that it is volume and not specifically liters. So you could actually have milliliters in this equation, as long as it's milliliters on both sides and you're good. Now, how do you know which equation to use? Well, it's actually very simple. You just look at the number of, well, numbers or givens given to you in the question. Right? So this first one has three variables, meaning the question will give you two and ask for the third. The second equation has four total variables, meaning it will give you three numbers and then ask for a fourth. And that's how you know. All right, so let's get into some specific examples here. How many moles of sodium chloride are dissolved in 65 milliliters of a 2.0 molar solution? So as you can see, we have two givens. It's asking for a third, which means that this is the first equation up here. It's asking for moles, so we're going to use this version of it right here. So we've got moles equals molarity times liters. So we have the molarity, which is 2.0. Do we have liters? Well, not specifically, but we do have milliliters, which if we divide that by a thousand or move the decimal to the left three places, you get 0 0.065. And then we just multiply across, right? So 2.0 times 0 0.065 equals 0 0.13. And this being moles, our units is M-O-L. Now, fortunately, uh, this answer already had two sig figs, which matches up with the two sig figs that we've got in our two givens, which means we don't need to change anything here. All right, next question. You have 250 milliliters of a 3.0 molar hydrochloric acid solution. What volume will you need if you dilute it to a 0 0.50 molar solution? So as you can see here, we have three numbers given to us, and it's asking for a fourth one, which means it's this second equation right here. So molarity 1 is this molarity right here, that is 3.0. Volume 1 is 250 milliliters, and I don't have to change it because milliliters are okay for the second uh, equation. Let's see, molarity 2 is the 0 0.50 right there. So 0 0.50, and volume 2 is what we're looking for. Now before we actually calculate this out, I want to point out something. For this equation, every single time you set it up, you will have the same basic pattern, where you have two numbers multiplied on one side, and then a number on the other. Which means that every time you're going to multiply those two numbers, and then divide by the third one. Every single time. Okay, so let's work this one out. 3.0 times 250 gives us 750 equals 0 0.50 V2. And then if we divide both sides by 0 0.5, what we get here is 1,500 milliliters, because that's volume, equals volume 2. And once again, there are two sig figs here. 
we've only got two sig figs in each of our uh, givens, which means that we're good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll on down. Here are two more questions I want you to solve. So pause here uh, in a bit, and then once you start it up again, you can check your answers. So here we go. Pause in three, two, one, pause. All right, so here are the answers. How'd you do? If you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch. As always, if you have any further questions or any specific examples you'd like for me to work out, you can either comment below or you can just send me an email to chemistrytalk at gmail.com. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so because you get all sorts of updates on all these great tutorial videos. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Waiting on a train.